Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, I have already primed my eyes and I did my eyebrows. I'm just singing a little bit here, but we are just going to jump straight into the tutorial. First, I'm going to take Silk Cream from the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette and I am taking that on a Sephora Pro blending brush. I think it's brush number 10. You could totally still get this at Sephora, but I'm just working that into my crease for my transition shade. I'm not really being precise with it. I'm not sticking it in a particular area. I'm just kind of buffing it into the crease of the eye to create a little bit of depth and like I said, just to use as a transition shadow. I was kind of stuck on what look I wanted to do today, but I decided to go in with butter. Just a little bit darker than silk cream. I'm going to take that on a little bit more of a precise brush. It's still a big fat blending brush, but it's a little bit smaller than the Sephora one. This is from Sigma and this is the E35. It's like my absolute favorite kind of like more defined blending brush. And I'm just going to do the same thing I did with silk cream, but a little bit lower, closer to the crease of my eye. Damn session. And now we are going to jump into mocha. So it's this really nice kind of chocolatey brown mocha shade. I'm going to take that on a pencil brush. And as you can see, I'm really just kind of carving out where I want the halo look to go. So I'm going to put this in my inner corner on the outer third of my eye. I decided halfway through that I was going to do a uh, halo look. So I'm just using this shadow to kind of carve out the areas that the darkest parts of the eyeshadow is going to be. Now I'm taking a Sigma E25 brush and I'm just blending it out a little bit so there are no harsh lines. So I'm just doing the same thing on the other eye. Now I'm going to go in with Pooter. It's just a little bit more of a darker brown shade. We're working with a lot of browns right now because then we are going to jump into color, but we want to make sure everything is nice and precise where we want it. So I'm going to blend that out and now I'm going to jump into Central Park. This is a really unique color. I like it. It's like brown, but it has a little bit of burgundy and it has a little bit of purple. So I'm going to do the same thing I did with the mocha shade. I'm just going to work this on the outer part of my eye, the outer third, and then blend it out just so there are no harsh lines with the Sigma E25. And then I'm going to stick that in the inner part of my eye where my inner corner highlight usually goes because we are going to create a halo look. So I want the inner part and the outer third of the eye to be the darkest places. I'm working with two brushes specifically, that pencil brush. This is the E30 from Sigma. And then I will switch out with the Sigma E25. So I applied the product with the pencil brush so I get a precise placement of shadow. And then I will go in with the Sigma E25 to blend out harsh lines and to kind of just to make sure that everything is nice and blended and it kind of flows together. So I, like I said, as you can see here, I do want to connect the halo look at the top, but I still want the most darkest parts to be on the outer third and in the inner corner area. But I just kind of keep adding more product and keep blending it out. It does take a little bit of time, but if you do this, I promise your halo look is gonna turn out nicely. It's not gonna be blended out weird and you will actually be able to tell which part is the halo kind of effect. Now I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I'm taking this NARS brush. This is just a flat concealer brush. I'm taking a little bit of that concealer and I'm going to put that directly in the center of my eye because this is where I want the pop of color to show up and that's what gives us that halo look. So just to kind of make it more vibrant, I'm going to apply that right in the center part. You don't have to do this. I just want the color that I place there to be more vibrant. So I'm going to do that. Now I'm going to go with the shade Hustle. This is kind of like a taupey silvery shade, but honestly, it kind of blended into the Tarte Shape Tape. So I'm going to take a little bit of Obsessed. This is a little bit more rose gold, and I'm just going to apply a little bit. It wasn't working with a brush, with a flat brush, so I decided to use my finger just a little bit on top of that. And then I ended up going into Royalty, the purpley glittery shade. Just a little bit of that on top of Obsessed, just because I wanted this to be a little bit more purpley, a little bit more lavender looking in the center but still pop nicely and neither of the other shadows obsessed or hustle were giving me that kind of look so I just kind of mixed all three of them to create this more lavender -y, purpley kind of center lid and then I'm going to go back in with Central Park and do the same thing switch out the pencil brush and the blending brush to add definition and then to blend out
I'm going to use some liquid liner. This is the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. You guys have seen me do this a couple of times, so I'm going to speed this up a little bit. I'm going to do a wing. You don't have to do a wing, but I'm totally going to do a wing. So that's what I'm doing right now. For my lashes, I've been so obsessed with these. These are the Makeup Shayla and Flutter Lashes collaboration. These are the Eye Slate Lashes. Now I'm going to prime my face, the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enrich Face Base. I really love this stuff. And I'm going to go in with the no pore blem primer i don't know how i feel about this primer yet i've been using it a couple of times and i just can't seem to decide whether i like it or not so i will keep you guys posted on that one but that's what i'm going to use for my pore filling primer for today now i'm going to try a new foundation this is the elf what is it the elf matte foundation and it actually took me a couple like squirts like i literally kind of went in eight times and nothing was coming out so that's what my face was and then when i pumped some out it looked very neutral tone like very cool tone very gray like a little bit too much olive actually which is weird so i wasn't sure if it was gonna match but it turned out fine now i'm gonna go back in with the tarte shape tape concealer i'm just gonna highlight the high points of my face and of course conceal those dark circles under my eyes and then i'm gonna use a uh, pro beauty blender to blend everything out now to set my face i'm just using a little bit of the nyx hd banana powder and i'm taking that on a y4 or y3 brush from morphe i'm gonna go back in with the e25 from sigma and then i'm going to use the same shadows that i used at the top i'm gonna go in with silk cream then butter then pooter and lastly central park and i'm just going to smoke out the lower lash line and you guys can't see this part it accidentally cut off my bad i'm just going to use a little bit more of obsessed and a little bit of in light from the palette and use that as my inner corner highlight i'm going to take the super sizer mascara and i'm going to apply some mascara to my lower lashes i'm going to take this duo compact from elf this is the fiji compact and with the angled f23 brush from sigma i'm going to bronze my face with the contour shade in there i've really been loving this little contour duo it works out so well and it's the perfect like bronzing shade not too cool not too warm it looks really light in the palette but it actually performs really well and then i'm going to use the blush that's in there too it's just a nice corally rosy smoky kind of blush For my highlight i'm going to take citrine from jouet cosmetics and i'm using a highlighting brush from sigma i love this highlighting brush and i love this highlighter it just looks poppin and for my lips i'm going to use pink taupe from Lorac. this is their matte lip crayon i think is what it's called and i've been so obsessed with it i can't remember if i talked to you guys about this before or not this is so good and you guys all know that once your lips are on your look is complete thank you guys so much for watching today's tutorial i hope you guys learned something if you guys recreate this look don't forget to tag me don't forget to hashtag me don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.